Greg Caggiano here for Ghosts on the Coast again uh, with Patrick Osborne and John Osborne. We are turning onto the famous Whippoorwill Road. We're not expecting anything to really happen while we're driving this road, but it's something that it's it's famous in this area and uh, being Ghosts on the Coast in, in the Monmouth County area, we um, feel we should film it. So there are three stories associated with this road, three famous legends. If you go online, you'll probably find more. I mean, there are stories of people getting chased down in the woods, people running at you with weapons, a, a pickup truck that likes to drive people off the road, um, which I guess are the usual stories associated with creepy so-called haunted dirt, uh, dirt roads. But three legends uh, surrounding Whippoorwill that go back a long time. Uh, the first one is that if you're driving along the road, and, and this part is actually a little bit farther down, you will feel 14 bumps, and each bump is the grave of a witch that was killed during the 1600s, executed and buried on the road. Now, if you know your history, you'll know that no witches were um, executed in New Jersey, uh, at least not in this area. Um, some stories say the witches were burned, some say they were hanged. Now, if they were burned, how could you even have a grave that would cause uh, a bump? If they were burned, they would be nothing but ashes. Um, no witches were hanged in Middletown. If they were, that would be fact, not legend. There would be a newspaper article, there would be a letter, something, some kind of document saying um, there are witches that were killed. Um, then you have a second story involving Satanists which used to meet on the side of the road and they would hold these you know, ceremonies and all these, these crazy things. You got a little dip there. There's probably a swamp past that. Um, you can't really can you turn the flash on maybe? Can I Let's turn the flash on? do it mid-filming. Mid I don't think I can turn the flash on. So, uh, the Satanists using the road from the 18... Uh, this goes back to the 1800s and they would meet and they would sacrifice animals and do all kinds of crazy things, but... Again, if you look back through history, Satanism really didn't become popular until the 1960s, and it really wasn't so much as a religion as it was a, a cult and a mockery of Christianity. So to think there were devil worshippers running around these woods in the 1800s, probably not, um, not going to happen. The last story is the only one that makes sense, and that is Klansmen using the road to meet. They would hold their secret meetings here. Um, the KKK, I mean, that, that is the only one that makes sense because the Klan was very active in New York and New Jersey back in the early 1900s. It's a part of our history that we do not like to talk about. It's something that's kind of been hidden. I mean, there were Klan riots in Perth Amboy, which is not far from here. So if anything, any of those stories was possible, it would be the last one. It would be the KKK using this area as a meeting ground. But again, there is no evidence to back that up. Any story whatsoever associated with this road there is no factual evidence. And I hate to start off this season with just like shooting down a bunch of stories, but it needs to be done. It's a very creepy road at night. Like right now, we're all by ourselves, all isolated. Um, if something were to happen, yes, I mean, it would probably be cause for concern. It's something that you should maybe do once. You got a group of friends together. I mean, people drive this road every day, uh, every night, especially in October. Bricks here, and yeah, I mean, there's Whoa. there's like hidden walls and stuff. That I mean, it's it's creepy. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> um, and what's even creepier is that if there's two cars passing at the same time on this very uh, narrow road, that's also kind of creepy. But paranormally speaking, no, there's really nothing going on. Um, drive it once, maybe wait for October. Get a group of friends together, drive the road, give yourselves a fright. Um, and then go do something worthwhile. This It's just one of those things that people love it. There's so much hype online. Whippoorwill Road, oh my God, Whippoorwill Road. And I mean, that's it, we just drove it. We didn't get killed or run off the road or, you know, any of that stuff. So anyway, sorry to shoot it down, but it's, it's just worth being said. Greg Caggiano for Ghosts on the Coast, Pat Osborne filming, and we will see you next time. Maybe, unless we die in the next two minutes on this road.